This report brought to you by the Richmond Club, where investors and high growth companies meet. Cantap Therapeutics is a Canadian pharmaceutical company with a focus on medicinal cannabis. They currently have 13 patents pending. I spoke with the Director of Marketing to find out why now is the time to invest in the stock. Eric, welcome to the Richmond Report. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We are talking about Cantab. It's a very exciting time for your company. In about 30 to 45 seconds, uh, give us an overview of Cantab. So uh, we are creating a hard pill, a cannabis hard pill with extended release properties. And that's unique in the industry right now. Okay. Um, what makes it unique? Um, there is nobody else right now that has a hard pill, and we know why. Um, it's because it's extremely difficult to go from the raw material of cannabinoids, THC, CBD, and terpenes, and to turn that into a hard pill. But we have perfected that process over the last few years, and we have 13 patents pending in Canada and the United States that cover the range of processes and formulations that we use to create our cannabis hard pill. That's, that's, that's a key feature, a hard pill with extended release. One of the things that investors want to know is why should I be purchasing this stock right now? Right. If you can provide us with three reasons. Right, well I think that there are three very good reasons to purchase right now. Um, we have all our ducks in a row in the sense that we have three main strengths. Our IP, I told you a little bit about those 13 patents pending, covering the processes and formulations that we use to create these cannabis hard pills. Our management team has been here, done that. They've already had the experience of creating, producing, manufacturing hard pills with extended release properties, and then later licensing that to Amnil, a billion dollar company, billion dollar pharma company in the United States. So they have that experience. And then our, our third major strength is our partnerships, um, at least of which is with uh, FSD Pharma in Coburg. And with them recently receiving uh, their sales for medical use license, uh, that opens up uh, the door for us to start looking at um, international and Canadian uh, white labeling. Um, we weren't able to do that before. Uh, we have a profit sharing and a co-location agreement with them, and now with them having their medical, their, their, their medical use license, that allows us to enter the market and to start looking at revenue. Revenue, revenue, revenue right. for the first time. And, and you mentioned that was the one piece yeah. uh, that you were waiting on, and truthfully, now you, you really do have all your ducks in a row. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that, came on, that came April 23rd, so we're only talking a, a few weeks ago. Um, and we expect that to, uh, to be a big thing for us because, like I said, now that we can tell somebody, okay, we will have your uh, product for you in November, we can look at making revenue deals. And we weren't able to do that before. So certainly May is going to be a big month for us and uh, 2019 will be a very, very big year for us. Let's delve into the idea of extended release. Uh, why is that important and how is that going to make a difference? Right, right. Well, I mean, any pharmaceutical solution that you're going to get at the pharmacy or a prescription that you get from your doctor is very, very likely to be in a hard pill. And it's also going to have an extended release property because people don't want to be um, using pills four or five, six times in a day. It'd be so much better if we just have one pill in the morning or one pill in the evening and that provides therapeutic relief for the entire day. And I can say, I can tell you, that as time goes on and as the efficacy of CBD and THC um, becomes more apparent in treating a range of illnesses, there are going to be a lot of people that are going to go to their pharmacy and they're going to want a professional pharmaceutical solution and they're going to look for a hard pill with a stable shelf life for years that's capable of giving them relief for an entire day. You emphasize the hard pill. Most of the pills right now out on the market are, are gel. They are oil-filled gel capsules. And this is partially because uh, hard pills will be coming in with edibles in October. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can tell you that oil-filled gel capsules are not an ideal solution. They have a very, very short shelf life. Uh, they are prone to microbiological contamination. I mean, you leave them in your golf bag for a round and you could destroy the entire group. Um, and so the other real issue with these, these oil-filled gel capsules is the way that they deliver the drug to your system. Uh, they have to go through your liver. They're coming into your stomach, and that is representing a real problem. You could be eating uh, something during one day and have a completely different effect as a result of what you ate earlier that day. You could take the same pill three days in a row and have three different effects. Um, and so that's really what uh, attracts us to the hard pill solution. Because of its increased bioavailability, um, that allows a, a patient to receive the same benefit, the same effect, time and time and time again. 
There is still a, a stigma attached to the use of medicinal cannabis. Yeah. I mean, truthfully, the stigma is uh, around cannabis as as a whole. Mm -hmm. Medicinal, we we've, we've seen um, uh, proof over years that that it has helped uh, patients uh, find relief. Um, how much uh, do you think that stigma is going to to impact medicinal ca cannabis? I I think to be honest, I think that. Once it becomes clear uh, that you're not getting high, that you don't need to smoke something in order to receive the benefits of some of these cannabinoids, in particular CBD. CBD does not get you high. Right. Um, you know, so if, if the efficacy of CBD um, uh, increases and we begin to amount a massive evidence to suggest that it's effective in treating a range of illnesses, I think people are going to begin to realize, as they ask the question, well, I don't want to get high, right. and our answer will be you don't need to. You can take these drugs in a hard pill form, or even in a gel capsule, to be honest, um, and you can receive benefit without being high. When that becomes apparent, mm -hmm. um, then I think people are going to start to turn. They're going to start to realize that it's not the same as right. what their father was smoking, for instance. So part of it is, is education, really. Yeah. 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 And um, also, I think even more importantly than that, um, is the clinical trials and the clinical evidence that comes behind that education. Uh, we can't make claims until we have cl clinical trials. Sure. And that's what we're doing uh, at UBC with Dr. Garbuz. We're hoping to effectively disrupt the opioid market by reducing opioid use by supplementing with uh, CBD. And if we can reduce the amount of opioids that somebody is using in post-operative pain care for hip or knee replacement, even if we can shorten the time that they're taking opioids by even a week, mm -hmm. that will significantly reduce the chances of them being addicted. And then we can start to approach the opioid crisis in North America and the world. Let's uh, wrap up with a look ahead to the rest of 2019. What will the rest of the year bring for Cantab? Uh, revenue, revenue, revenue. Mm -hmm. um, finally, we're able to look at making revenue, and so that's our main goal. Um, this will also coincide with a, an awareness campaign um, on the internet and on print and digital and on television across the world so that we can begin to drive interest in our stock. Um, and so with those two combined, we expect there to be uh, a significant difference between uh, the second half of 2019 and the first half. 2019 is going to be a very big year for CanTap for that reason. And that's the reason why now is the time uh, to get on board. Very good. Eric, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. For more information, head to www.cantab.ca. And if you would like to learn more about the high growth companies that the Richmond Club represents, follow us on social media and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For the Richmond Report, I'm Galit Solomon. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know. You've been watching the Richmond Club Report. If you've just come across this channel, please feel free to like and subscribe. I'm sure you'll find a lot of interesting and lucrative investment and trading ideas around here. We'll see you again soon on the next video. Cheers, guys. Have an amazing and profitable day.